Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the site module in Python and what Python dash capital S does and how sometimes you might be able to use it to squeeze out a few milliseconds of performance. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for today, we're going to set up a virtual environment just for demonstration purposes. It's not really going to change too much about what I'm showing, but we'll at least make it simpler for you to reproduce what I am demonstrating. Okay, so there is this special module in Python called site, which by default when you start Python gets imported. Uh, and you can kind of see that by uh, running Python with the import time uh, option enabled. Uh, let's just run the empty string here. Uh, this is new in Python 3.7, so if you don't have 3.7, it won't be available. Uh, but if we run this, you'll see that a whole bunch of stuff happens on uh, the process initialization. You'll see all of this here, and you'll see that it terminates by importing the site module. Now, I find this output a little bit difficult to read, so I actually made a tool called import time waterfall, and it basically does the same thing as this here, but gives you a little bit more of a readable version of this. Um, and you have to say include interpreter startup. Oh, and you have to give it a module, so we need some sort of model here. Um, and I have to not interpreter, I need to not spell it improperly. Okay, so anyway, you can see here that this is the site module, and this is the other stuff that it triggers as an import here, all of these, all of these other modules here. Um, the important part here is that it is by default part of the process startup, and so you might think, oh, well, if it's, you know, part of the process startup, uh, you know, maybe I don't need it, maybe I can avoid this entire 983 microseconds or whatever. I think this is a microseconds. Yeah, microseconds. I can I can save this whole millisecond by uh, not doing this work. And sometimes that is true. However, site sets up a lot of important stuff for your interpreter. Uh, for instance, the most important thing is it sets up sys.path and includes your site packages. So anything that you've installed as a third party library that wouldn't be available if you ran in the no site mode. It also sets up things like the license built in, uh, which allows you to view the full Python license text. That isn't available otherwise. It also sets up help and exit and a few other things that seem magically available in built ins. Those all come from the site module. Um, but if you run Python in the no site mode, which is done with dash capital S, you'll see that, you know, exit isn't there license isn't there and if we look at sys.path you'll see that it doesn't have any site packages on there it doesn't have any third-party dependencies it's basically just the python interpreter and the standard library at that point um and so that's what dash capital s does and this is actually related to a previous video you'll see here you know exits not available uh, and i used to use this as the end of all of my scripts and i changed to uh, instead do raise system exit main and this is one of the micro reasons why. Of course, I don't usually run in dash capital S mode, but if I did, this would work, whereas this would not. Um, and I'll try and remember to link that in the description. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference in timing here. So if we do time Python 3 dash C empty string, uh, you'll see this takes, you know, 19 to 22 milliseconds, somewhere around there. And if we run with dash capital S, oh, that's actually saving quite a bit. It's actually saving 10 milliseconds there. Uh, you can see site is significant part of startup here. Oh, that's because virtual arm does some other stuff. It'll be a little bit different outside of a virtual environment, but you know that that uh you know those 10 milliseconds might add up. Uh, so it might be worth it for whatever you're doing. Um, I actually used this recently to improve pre-commit CI's throughput by about 30 milliseconds per run, which doesn't really make a big difference, but. Uh, when runs are only five seconds, you know, maybe 30, 30 milliseconds is worth it. But anyway, that's dash capital S mode. You'll rarely see this in the wild, but I figured I'd let you know about it because it is a way to slightly speed up Python by avoiding this slow module. There are, of course, modules that are necessary for Python to execute, so these have to be imported, but um, site is not it's sort of optional there. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.